absolutely smashed this trade from yesterday, longing uh, 20.8k. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit here. Something I want to talk about that I mentioned quite a bit yesterday was that despite all of the bad news, right, we knew that there was going to be a 75 point rate hike and we knew that today we were going to have some negative growth on GDP. It was a zero, negative 0.9% 0 by the way. Despite that, the market gave us a long setup, right? We had our low, we took out those early longers, had our failed auction, trapped some shorts, and then held the 618 here and then create a bullish market structure, right? In the face of bad news, the market gave us a long setup. It didn't get a, give us a short setup. It gave us a long setup. So this is one of those moments where you kind of turn on the blinders to the news and you say, you know, the news is saying one thing that everyone's expecting, by the way, and the market's get, telling me a totally different thing, right? It's giving me a long setup. So I took the long right here, which has played out just perfectly, right? Look at this. We had this massive breakup back into this upper channel here. And now we're just, you know, holding it as support. So we'll zoom out here. I had said yesterday that if we got the close above this daily and the weekly open, that that would be a signal that the market could go higher. And now today, ultimately, we're looking to hold these levels as support, which we are, and especially the bottom of the channel. And even more preferably would be that we get a daily close above the previous day high. And even more above this, uh, you know, 23.4K daily would be a very bullish signal. But ultimately, you know, if this area holds the support, I don't see any reason why we can't get a rotation to the top of the range and look to take out this previous high, right? So here we'll zoom in a little bit actually. We can take a look at this. Where's that fit pole? Well, I'll just pull it here myself. So currently we are holding the 618, right? We continue to hold this, put in this uh, bull flag formation, hold this area support, especially the bottom of the channel. I don't see any reason why if price can come up, gain acceptance above this daily that we couldn't rotate to the top of the range, right? And then from there, if we can break up above on high volume, good buying power, come back, find support. I don't see any reason why we can't rotate up to about 28. And I'll explain why when we zoom out here. There was little to no market structure made on the way down. Typically when you see a move down like this, the move up is just as quick. And also we have the value area low and the bottom of our macro channel here all in this area and you can see we actually never came up and back tested the bottom of this channel so that's ultimately that's really what I'm looking for is for us to you know break up above here find support get a move up to here to back test this channel for then either you know a failed auction or just a clear rejection from here to then put in our way of five right we'll take a brief look at ES1 so this is pretty, pretty cool. Yesterday, I'm sorry, on Monday, we were taking a look at this chart and I had a couple lines drawn, right? I had said, okay, well, we're rotating to the top of the channel. It's likely that we break down from here. And then I said, unless we were to hold this line and I'll get rid of this because I drew it out more clearly. This daily level, right? Resistance, resistance, breakthrough, holds the support at the dollar. And I said, if we hold this as support, then I don't see any reason why we can't get continuation upwards. It's a great higher high, right? Or higher low. So we break through the channel and now we're looking to hold it as support. And if we continue to do so, I don't see any reason why we can't get a move up to this key weekly level, which I've said many times is a massive resistance. See support, 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 break down, flip to resistance. And now ultimately we're looking to, you know, possibly come back up and see if we retest it here. And I, I will not be getting bullish in this area. I will be looking for some degree of a rejection, right? The only case scenario that I would be is if we came through on great buying power, came down, retested it, confirmed its support, then of course we can have continuation, but we're not there yet. In the meantime, I am gonna be looking to short this area, right? So as long as this holds, find support outside of the channel, then I don't see any reason why we can't go up. And then eventually, you know, 
again i am looking for an eventual move back down and and possibly down to the 1618 at some point later in the year but for now we'll we'll steer clear of, of talk too much about that so for now my trading plan on bitcoin i want to see us hold this uh area of support this daily level the weekly open especially the channel possibly get some uh bullish closures above some of these new levels here and ultimately continue this bullish mark st market structure of low high higher low higher high higher low higher high and a higher low right just looking to put in our next higher high